Woohoo! You're pregnant! Yay! Now get the hell out of my house, dude. <laughs> I'm terrible. Hello, 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 and welcome back to The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. Uh, this morning, very, very early in this mo this morning at 6 a.m., October's here fixing her sink and toilet because things are constantly breaking. I just fed her, did I not? I guess not. Feed your daughter, October, and stop fixing your toilet. <laughs> Even though I just told you to do that. Um, so today, well, let's talk about the last part. In the last part, we gave birth, or October did, to Serenity and Lila Collins. And we still have room in the house for um, one more baby. So that is definitely something we're going to try and accomplish today. And uh, on a side note, I built a pool area. It looks awful and bare and plain, but that's because I was starting to run out of Mooney and I didn't want to spend any more. I, I wanted to put like mirrors in here. I kind of wanted to put some pulse lights in here so it could be kind of like a I wanted to build an attachment for like a spa room over Schna that is not supposed to be there. It's going to bother me, but I'm not going to fix it right now. Um, yeah, but now the kids have a pool. October has a pool so she can continue on her fitness journey, which she already looks like super great. I'm already so, so proud of her. Did you not feed the baby, October? Did you not feed the baby? What? Which baby is this? Serenity. You going to feed the baby? Gonna bounce the baby. My goodness. Find out what's wrong. Let's do that first if you didn't already feed her like I told you to. She's hungry. Feed the baby. If you don't feed the baby, then she's going to go away. Okay. So Miss Harmony this morning is going to eat. And it is a Sunday, so we are going to work really hard on trying to get all the kids' skills up, which her skills are up. Her homework is done. She's good. My need to make her do some extra credit no she is good to go all right so you're going to be the one doing laundry and um fixing things and also you can work out with your mom that's something we can get done today crispin you have done everything that you are supposed to do for the weekend so you get to spend your weekend being a child or whatever oh this dollhouse constantly broken why can't you fix it you Watched it get broken so many times, you should be able to fix it. Man, these kids are so good. JJ, too, has already done everything that he needs to do. So you can come over here and dry this laundry. But Stella. Stella's uh, over here beating up on her toy, which is not super great. She's mad because she just met the twins and she doesn't like them because she used to be the baby. And apparently she was so mad she didn't sleep all night. So why don't you go upstairs and uh, take a quick cat nap? Or what have you, or cry it out. She has so many emotions. She's mad about the new sibling. She's fine about her used clothing, because there's been so many kids, can't have new clothes all the time. And she hates her toys. So, you know, she's. Stella seems well. All right, Miss October, very first thing we're gonna do though, since you are in such a good mood, we are going to send you out, girl. You are going out. Let's see if this. Whoa. whoa. No, no. Let's see if there's anybody around the neighborhood who would be like to make a bebe with you. We got some gentlemen walking over here. Let's see who they are. Um, they look like teenagers, though, so that can't be good. No, pretty sure we've already had a baby with him. But walk, my goodness, Wakan Laws, not him. So let's uh, come over here and do a flirty introduction. Maybe we don't actually have to travel out of the house today, which might be a welcome change since October is still in her bunny slippers. And she's going out in her bunny slippers because she's so brave. No, October. I need you to talk to the. I need you to talk to the man with the funny name. You haven't even talked to him yet. He can't be like, "Thanks for hanging out with me." Stop, sir. Stop in your green shirt right there because a beautiful woman is coming to talk to you and make a baby with you, and you should feel grateful. All right. Already had a suggestive conversation. That's how good October is. She is that good and already ready to flirt and embrace. Tell him how much you like his low cut top because it shows off his bo his man boobs. I mean, she October really took to working out. I mean, she looks really good. I mean, she worked out like, what, two days? <laughs> there's some weird... Oh, I was going to say, there's some... <laughs> there's some weirdo coming to our house. It's just Dean, so I wasn't wrong. And we're already ready for a first kiss. She is a beast. And we're already here to try for a baby. We've talked to him for maybe eight minutes. <laughs> and we're good to go. I mean, it's it's really good. Uh, I'm, I'm real proud of her. I think she's only on charisma level six or something. Yeah. No, don't do this crap again. No, no, no. You, flirt with him. I said flirt. And then I need both of you. Dean, you're going to have to go away for right now. I need both of you 
to sit and chat on October's awesome sweet bed. Why? Why is this happening? Come here. Call him over. <laughs> Follow <laughs> the sultry sound of her voice back to her house. There we go. Now go over to October's bed and try for a baby. And hopefully none of the children will burst in and intrude. Oh my god, something else is broken in her bathroom. Hurry up, you two. Got to do a pregnancy test. Plus, October doesn't like bringing dudes home to her house. Oh, isn't that nice of you, JJ? You work carefully on your project. That is a good idea. You do that. <laughs> All right, come on, you guys. Enough with the theatrics. Come over here and take a pregnancy test immediately. And then you can have some lunch if you got pregnant. Come on. Come on, I got all the traits in this house, and you got traits about, I think. Woohoo! You're pregnant! Yay! Now get the hell out of my house, dude. <laughs> I'm terrible. But what you can do, you don't have to kick him up, but what you can do is you can come over here and you can make some lunch. Okay, and we have Miss Harmony down here. Um, might have her get in the pool in a minute, but I didn't actually even tell her to come down here. I had her um, down here talking to Crispin when he was doing laundry, but she just decided to start working out on her own. First she was over here, and now she's running on the treadmill, so very proud of her. Maybe she's inspired by her mom. The boys are working so diligently outside on their school projects that they're overdue by, like, at least a couple of weeks. <laughs> Because October just can't be bothered to keep up with deadlines. She has yoga and baby making to do. So I decided to buy the kids actually a jungle gym because... I don't know. I don't like where I placed it, so I'm actually gonna move it. There's no like park nearby or like some some places in The Sims, like in um, where the Goths live and Willow, whatever. There's like little parks and stuff on the side, you know, where kids can go. Like there's one here, obviously, but it's just got a bathroom and a fountain and some chess tables in it. Um, so I thought it'd be nice for the kids to have a jungle gym for the younger kids to play on. I thought that would be fun. So I bought it and it's this sweet pirate ship with black and purple. It's awesome. Well, it might be 8.30 at night, but I think we're gonna have... Oh, no, October can't do that when she's pregnant. That's right. She can't do anything, can she? No, she can run on the treadmill. All right, so we're gonna have to run on the treadmill. I'm gonna get one of these kids in the pool eventually. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> They've just been sort of busy, you know, what are, what are they doing? Building volcanoes and stuff. Oh, I'm really glad it's almost Serenity and Lila's birthday, because I guts to say, they have been some of the neediest babies that October has ever had. I mean, October hasn't gotten a second to do anything except for maybe run on the treadmill for two seconds without one of them screaming their head off or something. And they're always hungry. And I I keep doing the find out what's wrong because October's parenting skill is so high because I can't believe that they're always that yeah. hungry. But they always are. This is what I'm talking about! <laughs> Literally, five seconds ago, you were fine, and now you're both of the change of diapers. Goodness me. I know, it's babies. I know they're a lot of work. I'm just complaining, because I can. It's five in the morning, and October hasn't been able to go to bed yet. Okay, so it looks like the kids all came home with group projects, or not group projects, but whatever those things are called. Home projects. I don't know. <laughs> again. So, yay. Gotta do those again. Ugh. Okay, it's the t finally the twins' birthday, because we're gonna age them up as soon as October gets up. Because look at this! Look at this crap! October can't sleep, the poor woman. Get up. Get up and pee, because you've already peed yourself twice since having these babies. And being pregnant, of course. Yep, go pee, and then you're gonna change their diapers, and then you're gonna age them up. They're going to be the needy little princesses of the family, I can already tell. No wonder Stella was mad about <laughs> having new siblings. She knew, she just somehow, she inherently knew. Go, finally. Ugh, serenity. That you are not. <laughs> oh man, let's make you silly, since that's my favorite trait. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> She's adorable with her sunglasses on. Alyssa Brandt, which is her dad. Dutch, Freya, James, Sarah. Almost just about everybody. Everybody has got to get up for school, too. Go take care of yourselves, because right now we're aging up babies. And Lila. Oh, Lila's got orange hair. Where'd she get that from? Weird. Um, we'll give Lila the... I think I'll give her the wild trait. Yes. Uh, James... Kip? Who's Kip? Is that... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that Barnab... Uh, Lestat's son? Oh my gosh. He's a teenager and he's in high school. Holy crap, Ola. I think we're gonna throw the toddlers in Create a Sim now. Serenity is really pissed off right now because she's starving. And um, then all we have to do is wait for October to give birth, which should be in a few hours. So first up, we have Miss Serenity. And I don't know why, but she kind of has this smug look on her face like, well, I'm going to... <laughs> You know, like, like, like she would, if she spoke, she would have a really supercilious voice. But this is her outfit. Like I said, they were like the worst 
babies that October's had so far as babies. I don't know how they'll be as toddlers. But I sort of gave them this like princess persona that um, they were just sort of born with a silver enema up their bottom and they are really whiny and they want to, you know, look really pretty all the time. And so I sort of gave them different types of clothes than I think I've given the other toddlers. This is Lila and sort of the same thing you know, very pretty, and maybe it's designer, maybe it's, I don't know what designer baby clothes would be. When I was a kid, there was Oshkosh Bagosh, that was the <laughs> more expensive version of toddler clothes, at least where I grew up. And this is her uh, sleepwear, I think it's super cute. I gave them these same bottoms because, I don't know, I think they're cute, and I think it's really a weird bottom to wear when you're not sleeping. <laughs> I don't know, but I think Lila got a really cute face. Uh, she doesn't look nearly as smug as her sister. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's them. And let's go back into the game and let's wait for October to give birth. So I come back into the game and everything is broken. What a surprise. Stella, you can't be a ninja. Find a ninja to train you if you want to be a ninja so bad. Yay, October's finally going into labor. It feels like forever. My goodness, get over here and have that baby so we can focus on making more money and stuff because our bills keep getting more expensive, but our royalties don't keep getting higher, obviously. I'm hoping for a boy this time because... I think we're outnumbering the boys in the house already. Oh no, another girl! Okay, well we're going to name this one Iris Collins. Very nice, very nice. October and Joaquin <laughs> had a baby. Okay, so that is where I'm going to end this part of the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I really love making these. I love October. I love her family. I think they're so cute. I, it's a lot of work, but I really love doing it. And if there's any baby names that you would like to see in this series, or if you would just like to leave me a comment, please do so. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye!